Hi Beauty Geeks, it's Janine. I'm here with Dino Delio. You've probably seen him on City Line. He's going to show us how to do some highlighting and contouring for day and for night, and how to avoid the bearded lady look. <laughs> so we're gonna show you how to contour and highlight your face with things you probably already have in your makeup kit. We're gonna use a bronzing powder, and a matte one is a good idea. This one's got a low sheen. An angle brush works very well at hugging the bones. And then as a highlighter, we're gonna use this ivory tone eyeshadow from this eyeshadow quad and a small blush brush. So we're gonna start by contouring the cheekbone. And the bottom of the cheekbone lines up from the middle of the ear to the corner of the mouth. You can see how the brush just touches the bottom of the cheekbone. So we're gonna start there. We're gonna come across and end it at the outer end of the eye. So it's a small little triangle. I'm gonna place it right under the cheekbone stopping it there, making sure it's strong underneath and softer on top. We can also do a little bit in the temple that will narrow the, the forehead a little, as well as if you've got a tall forehead, it will shorten the height of it. What you want to do is get that color in the hair so that the inside edge is a soft halo. It's not a hard line. Then for the jaw, you want to keep your face level and you're going to put the brush underneath and flick it forward so the color is strong underneath but then creates a soft haze on the front of the face. If you do it this way, you're going to get a beard and you don't want a beard. You want this to be beautiful. For the bond, I'm going to have you bring your head up and you want to take that now and blend it towards the chin and down the throat. So now it's all in its place. We're just gonna do some soft blending because there's hardly nothing left on the brush. So now I'm just moving it around, blending it. And now your contour is in place. For daytime, I think it's fine to wear contouring on the cheek. It looks very good. But I would reserve the jawline and the forehead for evening. Sometimes it can be too strong. We have so much bright light we go through in the course of a day that you really want to just reserve it for the cheeks. You want something about two, three shades lighter than your skin. And now this is going to go on the top of the cheekbone. So there's the bottom, there's the front, and there's the top. So I'm going along the top, right into the temple, stopping at that outer edge of the eye, and now I want that bottom edge to blend into the top edge of the contour. So they merge in creating a shadow and then lifting up to a highlight. I'm going to use my finger and put a little bit underneath her eyebrow so it creates this crescent on the face which opens the face and really shows off your eye makeup as well. Also, if you want to make the cheekbone jump even more, you can take your highlighter and put it between the jaw and the cheek, and that projects the image even more. You've got a smooth forehead. You can put a little right in the middle and blend it into like a circle, and that projects the front of the forehead to come forward. You can also go down the top of the nose just down the very top, straight down from the bridge to the tip. You can do a little bit right on the ball of the chin. And that helps to pull out those features as well. Another great trick too is take your shadow or your highlighter straight up. This is for you, Jadine. This is that old Donna Mills white around the eyes. Remember that? Yes. And it really can show up your eye makeup well. So I'm just taking the highlight that I did there and then bringing it right underneath the eye and that scoops out and highlights the eye. Really good when you're wearing a dark eye makeup. Sometimes a little extra light around the eye can project it and not make it look so uh, black. You can use your uh, concealer, your regular concealer. That's just about two, three shades lighter than the skin. And so what I'm gonna do is add some spotlights of color. Press it in, and then hit it with a little 
bit of a light shadow. Okay, so maybe you've gone a little too far <laughs> and it's too much. Take your face powder that you use usually on your face and this will be the perfect blender because it's your skin tone and you can soften any strong points that you feel you've gone too far on. I also like to do this sometimes, I just feel it blends it all nicely too. So just with your face powder, go over anything you feel too light or too dark. 